Hello, society. It is yet again Sunday, and my name is Caroline, and welcome to SSSV Mark IV. So we didn't have a theme for this week, because some people don't come up with themes and leave me and other people wondering what the theme should be. Since we've only had, counting this one, three updates this week, and everyone in the past two, in the, and the past two updaters just did whatever they wanted to do, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. And so for this episode, what I want to do is show y'all my favorite records. Let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, right here is my lovely record cabinet, which you cannot see because it is off screen. And I'm going to pull out to you my favorite records. For starters, this little puppy, not actually my favorite record, but my favorite record cover. Because I use this record cover in my senior portrait, um, which some of you may have or may not have seen. If you want to see it, please go to the little comment box and ask for a lovely picture of me and having a romantic milkshake with this face. The next one I want to show you is Blonde on Blonde by Bob Dylan. You see, this is a great record too to listen to while you're studying, believe it or not. And, you know, who cannot look at this face? Who cannot love this beautiful face. Bob Dylan, everybody. Bye bye, Bob. Ah, my next favorite. The Flaming Lips. Or At War with the Mystics. At War with the Mystics was an album that I really liked last winter, and it's, it, it's, I think my favorite side has to be side two because it's got Oh, no, actually, side one, because it's got all my favorite songs, yeah, 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 songs, Free Radical, Vein of Stars, you know. I'm not reading the back of this record player. I, I mean record. I know what's in this sweet, sweet record. But it's, it's really cool, and it's actually pretty chill to listen to as well. So I'm going to put this guy away. And, I mean, I saw the Flaming Lips live one time, and oh my god! best concert ever. I had to leave home. I had to leave and go home early though. So, um, that wasn't awesome. But yeah, if you can see the Flaming Lips live, go see them live. Wayne Coyne, like, came out on this giant hamster ball and oh, yeah, I, I mean, that's the one thing that always happens at those concerts. But like, also, um, this girl crowd surfed over Jackie and I and, um, we both pushed her along and then after she was gone, I whispered to Jackie, I touched her butt, and, he, and she said, I did too. So, funny story. Other favorite album is One Foot in the Grave by Beck. I got this. This was one of the first records I ever bought. I bought this at a small uh, vintage store in Maine, and it's really good. This is like one of these vinyls that are harder to find. But it's got this great, um, on the back it says unreleased tracks. And one of the tracks was, um, oh god, what did it, I think it was actually called One Foot, in, yeah, One Foot in the Grave. And it's so funny. Um, in it, Beck says something like, I was cooking up the st a steak when the devil came in and said, you're always going to look, but you're never going to touch. And it was just, the, it's, it's just a really weird line. And it's really funny, too. Okay. Most signed record of my collection is this lovely Titus Andronicus record, which was signed by Patrick Stickles and the other members of Titus Andronicus, uh, including the really cool chick who's gone now, but she gave me the Scott Pilgrim wristband that I showed you all a few weeks ago. But, ah, feast your eyes on that, babe. Woo. Woo. I'm getting a little warmed up just looking at it. Anyway, um... But those are, I think the record that wins the award of best uh, album to cry to, that's Bob Dylan. Um, but like, 
last year when I was not having a good time, I found that um, this album was a really good one to be sad to, and it's Bookends by Simon and Garfunkel. And, oh my god, if you don't like Sir Simon and Garfunkel, what is wrong with you? This is an incredible album, and it's, like, most people are familiar with the songs on the album from The Graduate, but, like, there are a lot of really good non-graduate songs, too. Like, there's this whole thing um, on the first side, Voices of Old People. Like, they went into these senior homes, and then they, like, ha conducted these interviews. And they were really cool, and they're, like, nice little interludes in between tracks. But, like, yeah, I really like that part of the album. Like, uh, one of the problems with my record collection is it's not very organized, because I got... A lot of these records as a uh, birthday presents um, right after I first got my record player and so there are a lot of really great classic records that I like but I'm not too familiar with all of the records that are in here like there are a lot of classical records but oh there's this record that's the Beatles I didn't want to pull that out there's this record um, which is really funny it's kind of like a compilation of their best songs this is 13 by the doors and it was one of those uh records remember uh like now that's what i call music so this was like the now that that's what i call music for the doors because it's just like all of their best songs like on the first side it's light my fire people are strange backdoor man moonlight drive the crystal ship and roadhouse blues those are like all of their famous songs and then on the um but like oh man this record is is kind of crazy to listen to and because it all ends, the second side is really dark in comparison to the first side. It, um, I mean, it, it starts off with Touch Me, which is not their, one of their darker songs. But, like, the mood becomes more and more mellow. And the last one is The Unknown Soldier. So that's pretty intense. But yeah, those are all my favorite records. And I hope to see you guys next week. Bye.